Here follows an instruction of how to remove a front glass with a tool Rollout 2000. Put on safety glasses and gloves. Wipe off the glass and the suction cups in order to make sure they're dry and clean. Check if there are rivets or other obstacles under the downside of the glass where the cutting wire risks getting stuck. Use steering needles to lead the wire right. Stick them into the adhesive bead. Make sure they're aimed in the cutting direction or they may come loose. Remove, if needed, electrical details and rear mirror inside the car. Pull out 6.3 meters of cutting wire from the reel. The tool used to measure the wire here is called Roll-Up. Roll-Up is accessory equipment to Roll-Out 2000. Get seated at the driver's place. Insert the wire insertion tool from the inside at an appropriate spot. The bottom left area of the glass is recommended. Protect the paint with a piece of tape on the emerging point of the insertion tool if needed. Put both ends of the wire through the eye of the tool. Bend them to make sure they don't get loose and to make the pull easier. Enter the vehicle and pull them inside, up to a level with the sun shield. Release the insertion tool. Straighten or cut off the hooked end so that they don't get stuck in the clothing or interior. Put the cutting wire around the glass. Work counterclockwise. Make sure the wire gets under all four corners of the glass. On glasses with molding, tuck down the wire between the body and the molding with the roll and press method. Pull the remaining wire inside the vehicle. To prevent the wire from sliding on top of the roof, use sticky tape. It keeps the wire inside the slot. Apply one of the units on the passenger side of the vehicle. Hold the unit with the spool turned against the glass's fold. Apply it parallel with the A-pillar, approximately 4 cm from the fold. Take the longer of the two wire ends and pull it as deep as possible into the admission hole of the spool. Make sure the wire goes into the guide slot around the suction cup. Mount the ratchet and tighten up the wire. Make sure to protect the instrument panel, A-pillars and roof by moving along the plastic covers during the process. Use the parabola chisel to keep the wire against the glass and away from the interiors. Operate the ratchet and start cutting through the adhesive bead under the glass. If you don't get enough room to operate the ratchet, you can use the extender. If the unit slides on the glass, you can support it by applying the other unit. If you see the other wire end moving while winding, you should check if the ends are crossing each other. If that's the case, sort it out before continuing. When cutting the bottom corners, make sure the wire goes between the glass and the A-pillar. Use the plastic covers. Keep working until the wire levels the spool. It's time to move the unit. 
Make a habit of dismounting the ratchet, extender and parabola chisel before moving. Grip the unit with two fingers on the spool with the winded wire. Otherwise, the wire might come loose. Hold the unit with the spool turned against the glass's fold. Release the suction cups. Loosen the wire while moving the unit to its new position. Remember to keep the wire tight. Keep the black locking device out and apply the unit as the picture shows. Remount extension and ratchet. Press the wire against the glass using the parabola chisel. Make sure that the wire lies in the guiding slot so that the upward pressure eases the cutting. Cut around the corner until the wire is right angled with the spool. Leave this unit for now. Get seated at the passenger side of the vehicle and apply the second unit as shown. Take the short end of the wire and put it into the spool. Tighten it. Mount the ratchet. Use the extender if necessary. Cut around the corner until you level the spool. Make sure to use the parabola chisel and the plastic covers as protection. It's time to move this unit. Unmount the unit and move it as the picture shows, mirrored to how you move the first unit. Remember to keep the wire tight while letting out the length necessary to allow the move. Cut the upper left corner of the glass. After that, it's time for the last position. Demount the right unit. Move it to the left of the left unit as shown in the picture. Cut the last of the adhesive bead with the unit you just moved. Wind up the remaining wire. Remove all of the tools. You are finished and may lift out the front glass. As you've seen, the removal process has been executed without any damages occurring. Nothing needs to be repaired afterwards.